Welcome back everyone to our Making It Fun Career Mode series in NASCAR Heat 3. So we had a really, really fun race at Charlotte in our last race. Came home with a lot of points. We're solidly in the top 10 in points now so this far into the season. And to start off this video, we're going to go back to the Extreme Dirt Tour in our ownership mode here. Looks like it's time to prepare for Eldora. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, first, I need to remind myself by going to improve equipment. Okay, so we've gotten, let's see, what do we need to get to 100 here? Okay, $24,000 would get us to 100 there. And if you haven't been with us up to this point, once I moved into the truck series, I decided that I would treat all of the junior series, all of the lower series as I progress higher uh, toward cup, I would treat them as an owner and we wouldn't run the races, maybe one or two here or there. But for the most part, I just want to be an owner in these series from now on. So I want to get our car as fully upgraded as possible and see if we can't generate some better finishes, which of course will give us even more money and better sponsorship and so on. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and purchase these upgrades for 24000 and that will get us up to 95, 100, and 100 on our maximums. Let's take a look at our employees. So we got 12 and 13 here. That's perfect. Uh, we'll do a little bit more training with them. Uh, but we've got, let's see, where are we on our engine? Okay, perfect on our engine right now. And doing quite nicely on our arrow as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out. Uh, let's see. I tell you what. Let's let's hold off on that. Uh, trying to save some money for our uh, truck team as well, and train some employees there, and so on as we continue to progress. So let's see what we get. Uh, we've got Eldora coming up next. That's a normal track. Then we got the road course, and then we go back to normal. Okay, so we won't be needing the short track chassis for a few races here. Let's go to our normal chassis and engine. Our maximum is 95. So we'll put Jake on this arrow. Uh, we're going to have, let's see, we got, well, 12 and 12. So we'll put Wendy on this one. That'll get us up to 94. And then suspension, uh, we'll put, uh, we'll go ahead and put Andrew on this one that'll get us up to 96 so looking good there now if we go to our road course chassis let's put william on the engine and then stella on arrow and hector is on the suspension all right now before we actually start that i want to take one more look at our employees because i want to see how much money it would cost to get there. Okay, so we have almost enough to get Hector all the way to 15. So we're going to go ahead and get him to 14. And let's see, what else do we want to do? Let's go ahead with Stella and see if we have. Okay, so we got enough money to get her to 13. Okay, so we got a little bit of training done and still a little bit of money. Remaining, yeah, we'll go ahead and train Wendy as well. Excellent. So when we come back over to our uh, adjust work plan, you can see that those changes will already be in effect. There's our plus 14 on the suspension. All right, so we're ready to start this work plan. Go ahead and do that. And you notice that our normal chassis is now 95, 95, and 96. So very good. And we'll continue to work on that more as time goes on. But for now, let's go ahead and sim this race and see what we get. Yes, we want to simulate the results. We're going to use the normal chassis. Okay, so we come home ninth. So a little bit better. So maybe we've crossed a threshold that will get us into the top 10. Uh, at each of these races, picked up a few more fans and $12,800 for our efforts. Very nice. I will certainly take that. All right. Oh, and we're back to 
these other messages for how we drive. Okay, so apparently it's not having anything to do with how strong our car is. Apparently it's just completely random, and I am not a fan. Um, fortunately for us, we can apologize and keep things uh, pretty good between us and the other drivers, but uh, there's just no reason for this. This is an aggravation more than anything that we have to continue to deal with that in races we're not even running. So now it's time to go back to the truck series and it's we're gonna head to Texas. So let's go ahead and prepare for this race. Again, we're looking for four top 15 finishes for our incentive contract. And let's see, under improve equipment, uh, what was it we needed? Okay, 45,000 will get us up to the next threshold there. Okay, let's go into adjust work plan. And we've let's start out by working on our existing Speedway chassis that we've prepared last time. Okay, the engine, we'll go ahead and put Jillian on that. Arrow, not really anything to do here. Same thing with the suspension, nothing really to do there. Uh, we could pick up another point or two and get it up to that maximum, but not really that big a deal. But then we need to work on our short track chassis because uh, coming up next, it will be time to go to Iowa, which is going, we need all the help we can get at Iowa. So let's go ahead and work on the suspension, the arrow, and then finally the engine. Okay, that looks good. And we don't have enough money, I don't think, to train anybody, so uh, we won't worry about that. In fact, we need to increase our maximum before we can really focus on that. Okay, let's start that work, and let's see what that does for us. So our Speedway chassis, 90, 83, and 84. So that's where we thought that one was going to be. And then our short track chassis uh, is at 85, 83, and 84. Again, right where we need it to be. So things are looking good. All right, I am very much in favor of this. Let's back our way out. And let's head to Texas. It is race time here at Texas. Uh, oh, looks like we've got John Hunter starting at the back. So our qualifying effort didn't go all that great. We were 19th fastest and well off the pace of the pole. There you can see our truck. I really wish we had more options with the paint scheme for these things. But unfortunately, the game doesn't allow that for some reason in career mode. All right, here we go. So let's see how quickly we come up to speed versus these guys. For some reason, they seem to kill us in fourth gear. Uh, let's see if that's the case here. Uh, so far, so good, actually. All right, Texas is a very tricky track. Uh, you can run it wide open, but uh, it can be tricky in traffic. Oh, look out. And we were a little bit loose there. All right, I'm interested to see what kind of race pace we have. It's not surprising to be off the pace in qualifying. That's fairly normal for us. Uh, ooh, look out. Very loose on entry. Yikes. All right, so I'm going to have to be careful with that. Uh, as far as the setup I'm using, it's basically identical to what I posted on the channel. I made a couple of tweaks. Really? How can he be inside of me? There's literally nowhere to go inside of me. There was not a groove below me, so congratulations, AI. You just forced your way through there. But yeah, we are certainly lacking on grip. I can still easily run it wide open um, by myself, but look at that. Look how aggressive he is with pulling down to the inside and just rooting people out of the way. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. So we're going to try to make our way into achieve our first goal. Oh, look out. Almost spun it out right there. Yeah, I do not like our entry to turn one when I have to pinch it down. That is no fun. All right, 
whereas for us, we want to start, we want to score some stage points. Yeah. Right, we're going back out of the here. Really want this thing to spread out and get single file. And then for these guys to get some room between each other. So it gives us a little bit of a little bit of room to operate here instead of having to worry about coming up on cars that are two and three wide all the time. Okay, so we managed to get up into the top ten. You can hear those. Oh, good gracious. So he's back to the inside of us, which makes no sense to me how he got that kind of a run in the center of the corner to get by us. Alright, I see what he can do in the turn one. Right, we are right on his tailgate. Right on him, I mean. All right, Coughlin, I need you to either go or get out of the way. <laughs> One of the two. All right, much better. So I figured out how to deal with that really loose on entry. I just simply back off a little bit earlier. And everything is fine. All right, now we'll be able to run this thing wide open as long as we can keep some free track. Uh, we're in the top five now, so very nice. We'll certainly take that. Excellent lap. Good job. Okay, try to arc it into the corner a little bit better. Still didn't want to rotate all that well for me. But, again, easily wide open in the trucks at this track. In fact, you can run all three of the series wide open. It's a bit more hair raising in the, the cup car given the speed you're running, but it can be done. All right, so we do appear to be closing in on Gilliland, but again, not very quickly. So this gives this gives me a lot of of uh, good feelings about our potential to continue improving our truck. Uh, and who knows, maybe we can eventually move our way up from fighting for top tens to maybe fighting uh, ultimately for some top fives consistently, and then ultimately some wins. So we'll just see what we can do to make that happen. Maybe it'll be a combination of improving the car and using some of the default setups. We'll just see as time goes on. All right, we're over halfway through this first stage and we're in the top five, so stage points are looking good. Everything is according to plan there from our 19th starting spot. Caution. Oh, and we got a caution, caution flag out. All right, so there's no reason to pit here. Uh, well, you could use a, some strategy there and try to pit. Okay, we've got some crazy maneuvering going on. And there we go. I'm not controlling this truck yet. So <laughs> the fact that we are all the way down here starting almost three wide, that is on them. And we are just going to bolt right by them. Can't do that in real life, but in the game, there is no trouble whatsoever doing that. We'll just see how it turns out as we're getting up to speed. Looks like Stuart Friesen is ready to go by us. And now we're going to get an opportunity to see what kind of speed we've got. Can we hang with these guys up front? Or are they going to be pressuring us and getting by us for this lead? I would love to pick up a playoff point for this stage. We've only got a few more laps left to hold them off.
Yeah, they're coming back on me, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to try to use some of their tactics. Look at that. Where did he get that speed? I mean, he just picked up another gear the second half of the straightaway there. Wow. Yeah, there's no groove there, Stuart. You... Some of the most fun right now is to actually watch my rearview mirror instead of the windshield because Stuart Friesen is trying to put it into grooves that don't exist at certain points around this track. All right, just a few more laps here. If we can hold him off, that'll be our first playoff point. But we're going to try to block him for all we're worth. We're going to pull an AI move here. All right. You'll probably hear me lifting a little bit coming or going into that corner. Uh, I was trying to do that to make sure I could hang the bottom, and it was still pretty difficult given the line we're running on the straightaway. All right. We're coming to the white flag for stage one. Can we hold Stuart Friesen off for one more turn? Or series of turns? Yeah, his tire's just squealing, asking for grip. <laughs> Trying to find that grip, but we're using all we've got. Trying to hug this bottom, and... Hopefully, we can get this stage victory. And it looks like we're going to get it. Stuart Friesen's going to have a run, but not enough. We'll bring home our first stage victory. Very nice. I will take that. Okay, laps remaining 65. Well, in this next stage, it won't be that many. Estimated fuel. Uh, let's, let's don't pit. So we're going to keep the lead. And I don't know how many people behind me pitted. Doesn't look like any of them lost any spots, so it looks like most of them may have just stayed out there. All right, it sure would be nice to get out here and lead some laps. But most importantly in this stage, I'm not sure we're going to be able to hold these guys off for 17 laps. I'm just not sure that's a possibility. So my goal is a top five here. All right, we're going to try to slow them down right here uh, as we're coming up to speed, but then we'll see how things go. I would really like to hold these guys off until things get more spread out because if we start losing spots on the high side now, we might fall back out of the top 10 pretty quick. Yeah, a little bit of trouble from the center of the corner off turn two. And that is probably best chalked up to some adjustments that I made to try to tighten up the car a little bit. Now, if you haven't been with us for all of our videos up to now, one of the things you deal with in career mode is that uh, the same setups you use in the normal single player, the quick race mode, don't always translate exactly into career mode simply because um, our car is not nearly fully upgraded. So we don't have all of the grip and all of the horsepower. So we have to make adjustments to the car in order to try and uh, optimize the handling for the car that we do have rather than look at, oh my goodness. That was very aggressive by Ben Rhodes, and I'm not going to try to block that move. That was a very aggressive move into turn one. All right, so he was showing to be faster than us, so let's see if that comes to fruition. Let's see if he's able to pull away. So far he hasn't in the one lap, but Johnny Sauter is coming up from behind. Maybe he wants to stake his claim to the lead of this race. Stage 
Trying to give Johnny Sauter some room because he stuck his nose in there. So again, our goal is top five if we can. I'm beginning to wonder if even that is possible. I'm not sure we had the speed for that. Because there are some of these trucks that are just blowing by us. Okay, I see Moffitt back there. All right, let's see if we can't tuck in behind these guys. And pull away. That's the ultimate goal here, is to pull away from sixth place, sixth place on back. Yeah, we're just going to be too tight overall to make any headway on victories right now. We're trying to stick as close to these guys as we can uh, so that if any of them make any mistakes, maybe we can capitalize on that. But overall, we can come home in fifth in this stage. That'll be some nice playoff points to go along with our first stage victory. So if we can make it to the playoffs, then... We've got a playoff point right now. We have a grand total of one that we would start the playoffs with. We'll take it. All right, looks like Rhodes is having trouble keeping up with the pace of the top three. All right, coming up on halfway through this stage. Yeah, we're able to hang with Ben Rhodes. Stay on the bottom here for me. Careful, still there. Let's see if we can make our way by him. It'd be nice to have a little extra room. All right, Rhodes, give me a little room down here now. See if I can manage the horsepower. Ooh, a little bumping. Oh, can't quite hang there with him. had to get out of the throttle there so we almost had a collision so we're a little faster than these guys on entry so I'm having to back up the entry a little bit to stay off of them all right six more laps to go in this stage and then we'll have to come in for a pit stop and that's going to make things interesting about where we restart the final stage. All right, I see in our rearview mirror there are some objects getting closer. Five to go. You've got this. So can we hold those guys off? for five laps oh we got a slow car up in front oh lost the nose when I got too high there so we're gonna lose a at least one spot yep thought I could hang in there and not have to lift going around that lap car on the high side but unfortunately that didn't work out look at the run these guys behind us have on us All right, we're going to try to pull back away from these guys if we can. Um, unfortunately, Infinger is right on us, looking for a way to pass us. So that's not good.
and once again they found somehow another gear because he was not that close going through the trial but magically he became that fast as we got into <laughs> turn one all right so now we are in serious danger of dropping out of the top 10. Yeah, the comers and goers, we're one of the goers this time. All right, lap and a half remaining. That's the top 10 of that stage, driver. Oh, okay. I could have sworn we had another lap to go, but I guess not. So we'll take it. Stage two is done. Let's go ahead and hit. Uh, of course, we don't need two cans of fuel. We do need one and a half, though, uh, to make sure we have plenty. We'll go ahead and get four tires and repair. Why not? Might as well repair. So let's accept that and see how many spots we lose. Oh, my goodness. All right, somebody is smoking badly in front of us. And we lost all of our spots. All right. Look out. All right, so that was nice of the AI. Somebody just didn't go. Wow, that is no fun losing all of your... I mean, I can't imagine anybody is going to be able to make it to the end. Uh, if you pit it at the end of stage one, I don't think you can make it. Because we saw, even with one and a half cans of fuel, we still just barely had enough fuel uh, to make it. So if you put in two cans, I don't think you're gonna have enough fuel to make that. Wow, had to get out of the throttle quite a bit there. So we're going to try to make our way back through here as best we can. If they'll stay side by side, that will help. I don't like taking it three wide, but if we have to, we have to. Because we need to make our way through here for the best finish we can get. Yeah, these guys at this point in the field are just really slow Still particularly there. on exit Clear all around. Ooh, a little bit loose there so i'm really having to get out of the gas on exit to try to keep from running these guys Still over there. maybe give them a little bump to let them know we're here We need to pick up some more spots. Oh. Alright, I decided to keep it in the middle of three wide. Hold that line, driver. Alright, clear outside. Alright, do we have the speed to clear the guy on the inside? Yes, we do. In fact, we're going to do more than that. Try to hug this bottom. Oh, I had to get out of the gas right there. Ran out of Careful. ran out of room before we got to corner exit. I was gonna try to pull down below this truck before we got there. But it all worked out. Okay, so again, the the best part of this is that we do have the speed to move back through the field. Uh, I just wish we didn't need to to move quite so far back through the field. So knowing that we're going to lose a lot of positions every time we pit is it's going to add a lot of for a lot of interesting races and a lot of times coming up through the field but uh, other than that it is also a bit tedious to lose all of your spots every time you come into pit. All 
right, so we're up to 14th, so not bad. Not bad. We're, we've got a lot of open track in front of us, though. And those guys are going to be hard to run down. We've got plenty of laps to do it. I mean, 36 laps is a long time to try to do just that. But we're going to have to have a lot of speed to make up a significant number of spots going forward. So I'm just going to try to optimize every lap, get the best lap times I can, and then we'll see where we end up. Uh, who knows? We may not be done with cautions either. The cautions seem to be hit or miss, even with the strict yellow, so we'll see how that goes. I think we're gaining on the guys in front of us, but I'm not real sure that it's a lot. All right, so we need a caution right here. Sometime, it would be nice if we could get it sometime in about the next 10 laps to give us uh, still a lot of laps uh, to make up positions after the caution. But this is why in, uh, in real life, when these guys have an opportunity for a restart, this is why they're so aggressive. Because once things get spread out, even if you're fast and you're chasing guys down, it's a long way to pass each one of these cars and then set sail for the next one in front of that. So you do not want to lose track position. So if the caution came out sometime in the next 10 or so laps, that would give us about 20 laps to the end of the race, which should be plenty of time to make up any positions that we have speed for. So now we are clearly coming in on, I think that's Coughlin in front of us. We're clearly coming in on him. But you can see they're pretty evenly spaced in front of him. So as long as we're in open track and, and not running, you know, inside or outside of another truck. Uh, the car is, or the truck is handling fine. You know, a little tight, as we've talked about thus far into the race. Uh, a little tight, but uh, overall, not bad. I can easily keep it wide open and maintain most of my speed anyway. But just a little bit too tight. Oh, look out, Coughlin. Decided he was going to cut us off on the high side there. That's that is not good. Stay low. Stay low. Still there. Oh, so now it's going to be one of those times trying to get around him. Wow. Okay. Well, then so be it. We'll try to work our way around. You can see, I mean, we're clearly faster than he is. And we just need to, sort of the story of our career mode thus far, being down on uh, horsepower, oh, truck does not like to be on the high side up here. Uh, being down on horsepower means that we have to fight for every inch on these guys. Look at, oh, look at these blocking maneuvers. My man, there are 25 laps left to go in this race. Perhaps a little bit of discretion would be better for him there. I don't mind him fighting for the position, but these outright blocks that he's throwing on me are a bit much. Like right here coming off the corner. Let's see if he gives me a little room here. Okay, he gives me some room this time. Let's see if we can 
maintain our position. Nope. Hang tight there, driver. Hold this line here. Wow. We get way out of the gas there. All right, so we'll back up and try it again. Again, a great run through three and four. Uh, we're going to get up to him. Look at him going back and forth, just swerving, trying to make sure that he blocks me. If we can get up beside him, looks like we're going to be able to do it. All right, let's see if we can't get by him. All right, now you're clear. And then pull away, please. There we go. So maybe he came to his senses that with this many laps to go, it wasn't really worth trying to hold me off since I had run him down from behind. Now, if it were five laps to go, that's a different story fight for every position but at this point in the race 25 laps is a long long time all right you can see we've put some distance on him now and let's see if we can run down Parker Kligerman right in front of us and hopefully we will continue to pull away from Coughlin in 14th. Oh, so tight coming off these corners. But I'm trying everything in my power not to lift any more than I have to. All right, these guys have been fighting it out some, and that's brought them right back into our clutches. So let's see if we can do anything with. Oh, Burton is a lap down. I did not see that coming. I figured for sure in that truck he's driving that he would be on the lead lap, so he must have had some issues. So that's what slowed down Parker Kligerman a little bit. So my goal is still a top 10. Uh, it's, it appears as though we're going to need a caution to make that happen. Just too much ground to make up, and I don't think enough laps to do it at the speed we're going. So I think it's going to be a very worthwhile upgrade to continue improving our engine and, and the overall grip, whether it's aerodynamics or uh, the suspension and chassis. Because our goal is to have as much fun as we possibly can, and we are certainly doing that. And now we're going to try to continue to work our way uh, toward the front of the pack and, and consistently be able to, uh, to look for better finishes. And the one thing we absolutely do not want to have happen, let's see if this guy goes to the bottom. Uh, well, sort of. I'm going to try to prepare to get under him coming off the corner. Yeah, there we go. But the one thing we absolutely do not want to get into in this series is runaway victories. Which we would certainly have several of, given the AI condition at these tracks. But there's certainly more room for improvement on our car uh, without having to worry about running away with a lot of victories. Okay, 19 laps to go. And I think we're closing in on Kligerman. The question is, are we closing in enough? And am I going to be able to keep it out of the wall coming off of turn two without lifting? I wish I could say that's just from tire wear. But unfortunately, that's just the setup. Now, the adjustments I made to tighten it up were a little bit too far, and it's hurting me on the exit. <laughs> you 
you can hear the tire squealing on uh, from the middle of the corner off and that's because I am staying full throttle and trying to get everything I can out of this truck we're done with these tires after the race so no need to to save them and make sure they're fresh bit higher line that helped out a little bit I'm not sure it helped our speed but it helped the handling just a bit but my guess is that it's gonna hurt our speed because with our reduced horsepower we need to cut this track as short as we can for the most part well you can hear those tires squealing immediately all right, had to get out of the gas a little bit there, just for a second. Tires are just squealing, squealing, squealing. Turn three and four is still fine. Tires are still squealing there, but but no reason to lift in that corner right now. Okay. We'll start backing up the entry a little bit. Uh, we're still closing in on Kligerman, so even with our handling issues, we seem to be doing just fine on speed. So I'm going to try to back up the entry a little bit, uh, particularly to turn one, and see what we can do there. Just a slight lift, and by slight, I mean maybe 85, 90% throttle, so not much. But you can see, we're still getting closer and closer to him. So now we got to start to try and figure out how we're going to be able to get position on him to pass him. It's appearing as though coming off the corner, if we can get close enough to him, we should be able to get underneath him coming off the corner, assuming, of course, he doesn't block that. Ah, uh, got to get out of the gas. Ran it in there a little bit too deep. Trying to get that momentum on him, so we'll have to back up the corner and try that again because we should be able to run him back down within a couple of laps and then we'll try that move again okay that's a much better trip through the corner still too tight on entry or excuse me on exit and boy are we paying for it Okay, so I assume this is a lap car I'm immediately in front of Kligerman, given how fast we're catching him. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, he didn't give any room to Kligerman, and Kligerman forced his way in there. Again, there. I mean, there's no reason for the AI to drive that way. I mean, you're a lap down. <laughs> what are you trying to prove by blocking that position? So they don't just do it to us. They do it to each other as well. And that is definitive proof of that. So, wow. Creating code for AI is not simple. 
but it would be nice if they could just back off on the the blocking maneuvers just a little bit at least because long term it's just not worth it oh that's killing me our corner exit being this tight now all right there we go all right so laps remaining uh we will not be pitting under no circumstances let's see what we get all right so we picked up a spot so somebody pitted unfortunately that means we're going to be in the outside lane so this is going to get interesting because i do not want to be in the outside lane we don't have the speed for it and we already know we're a little slow coming up to speed anyway, so. Ah, uh, almost thought I was going to have a little room to get down there. But not quite. So we'll bide our time and try again. Oh, look out. Almost missed the corner there. Careful now. Still there. Inside, inside, inside. All right, good run through that corner. When I hit my marks and, and lift when I should, and the amount I should, things go fine. We really, really need to get to the bottom. At this point, it feels like when you're driving on the interstate and you're the first person to get to a slower car and before you can actually pull out of line and make the pass oh good gracious no grip at all up here on the top of the track so we had to back way out of that but yeah you're the first person to get to a slower car and before you can pull out to pass the folks behind you have all formed a line and are passing not only the car in front of you but you as well that's what it feels like when you're on the outside sometimes on these restarts. So final lap, unfortunately, because we need a lot more of these laps if we're going to make up some of these spots. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have time to do it. So 18th is certainly not, not the race we wanted. But that's how it's going to end up. We're going to come home in 18th position. Wow. Not, not what we were looking for. But we are certainly going to be improving on our car. And we did pick up some valuable stage points. So that will soften the blow of that finish somewhat. So let's see how much we're going to make. 36000 Excellent. That's what we want. And, of course, our merch payout is most important at twenty dollars we want to make sure we maximize that okay still in eighth position and a nice 15 point cushion over ninth place todd gilliland in the points and that all-important first playoff point we picked up for winning a stage okay fastest lap 31.3 yep we were nowhere near that no shot we needed a lot more grip to be able to do that. Okay, we'll move through our summary, see if we get any feedback from Twitter. Okay, unfortunately we didn't complete our incentive contract. 18th place won't quite do that. But the good news is we got $52,900 in the bank. All right, so now we get some good feedback. Justin Haley, my best friend in the whole world. And look at that smile. He, he really does like us, doesn't he? From what I saw, Neil Pittler raced a clean race at Texas. I don't know that we were around him all that much. And then Clay Greenfield, you keep racing with me like you did and we'll get along just fine. So 
he didn't seem to have a problem with that last race. So we'll take that kind of feedback. All right, looks like coming up next, we're going to be headed to the short track. Let's see, what do we want to do with this? We got five tracks on this incentive contract. Let's go, let's go three top 15s. Three top 10s would be amazing, but I'm not sure we got it in us to get three top 10s in five races. I'm just not, not sure. So let's try for those 15s. All right, you put out some more feelers. Did you do the same thing? Okay, so we get to contact an additional team this time. So two teams we could contact. And that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned as we will continue our career mode gameplay in NASCAR Heat 3.